I'm not ashamed. How was Israel's attack of a- on AI executed? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse by verse study of the book of Joshua on walking through the Bible. Today we're going to be discussing Joshua 8, verses 9 to 17, but before we do, let's read the passage. If you have a Bible with you, you can turn to Joshua 8, verse 9, but if you don't have a Bible, don't worry, just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So Joshua 8, beginning of verse 9. Joshua therefore sent them out, and they went to lie in ambush and stayed between Bethel and Ai, on the west of Ai. But Joshua lodged that night among the people. Then Joshua rose early in the morning and mustered the people and went up, he and the elders of Israel, before the people to Ai. And all the people of war who were with him went up and drew near. And they came before the city and camped on the north side of Ai. Now a valley lay between them and Ai. So he took about 5,000 men and set them in ambush between Bethel and Ai on the west side of the city. And when they had set up the people, all the army was on the north of the city, and its rear guard on the west of the city. Joshua went that night into the midst of the valley. Now it happened, when the king of Ai saw it, that the men of the city hurried and rose early and went out against Israel to battle, he and all his people, at an appointed place before the plain. But he did not know there was an ambush against him behind the city. And Joshua and all Israel made as if they were beaten before them, and fled by the way of the wilderness. So all the people who were in Ai were called together to pursue them. And they pursued Joshua and were drawn away from the city. There was not a man left in Ai or Bethel who did not come out after Israel. So they left the city open and pursued Israel. In our last lesson, we had Joshua's plan for how to attack Ai the second time, this time with the Lord on their side. We noted that in verse 3 it might be a little confusing because it said that Joshua sent 30,000 men and it appeared that he sent them all that night to lie in wait near Ai. However, from today's reading, we know that verse 3 was simply a summary, and that Joshua, according to verse 12, actually sent 5,000 men out to lie in ambush. The rest of the army would come later in order to draw the men of Ai out to chase them, leaving the smaller contingent of troops to enter the now defenseless city and conquer it. Coming to verse 9, we find that the place where the ambush would be is between Bethel and Ai, on the west side of Ai. Our map has labeled in purple the place of the ambush. Joshua, though, wouldn't be with the ambush. In fact, he didn't even travel with them, but lodged that night among the people. Whether he sent the 25,000 troops slightly ahead of him that night or whether they all came together is immaterial, but the fact remained that these 25,000 troops didn't get into position until the next day. Now, if you notice on the map, Ai is surrounded by hills to the east, meaning that it would be easier if the right route was taken that they had, and they advanced at the right time of day and the entire group didn't all come at once to sneak up on the city unnoticed. That's what Joshua's army did, and it took them an entire day to do so. This batch of 25,000 troops camped on the north side of Ai for the evening, as is shown on our map. Verse 12 makes it appear that it is the, uh, that it is the men camped with Joshua that he selected 5,000 to go lie in ambush, but a better translation is that Joshua had taken, meaning that he had already done this, with this, of course, being done in verse 3. Now, what we need to know is that between the camp of Joshua and the camp of those on the west of Ai was a valley, meaning that anyone in the valley could be noticed by the city, something that will be important in just a few moments. With the city surrounded on the north and west side and ready to be attacked, Joshua made his move. While it was still dark, But close to sunrise, Joshua went out into the midst of the valley, and sure enough, he was seen by the king of Ai. Seeing Joshua, even though he wouldn't have known who this was, the king determined that the city must be under an imminent attack. So he gathered his men and hurried them out of the city into battle against Israel. By this point, the larger contingent of Joshua's troops had joined Joshua in the valley and began running away as they had before. We're going to find that the city of Ai only totaled about 12,000, including women and children, so the number of troops that went out against Israel would have been much less than that. But seeing as how they were successful the last time, and seeing as how these men were already running away, the men of Ai were confident they would be victorious. 
Little did they know that by leaving the city defenseless, they had fallen right into Joshua's hand. We're going to see the completion of this battle, the Lord willing, in the next lesson. With that, our time is up for today. The Lord willing, we hope you'll join us for tomorrow's discussion of Joshua chapter 8, verses 18 to 29. So we continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world.